Welcome to another installment of Lebanon SportsBuzz.com presents uh, tonight. We're with Mike Lewis. Uh, Mike is a senior quarterback on the Palmyra football team two days before uh, season opener against uh, East Pennsboro. Uh, Mike, tell me a little bit about your head, what's going through through your head. How anxious are you guys uh, just, just to get out and play that first game? Yeah, our whole team is definitely excited to get out there and play. We have a lot to prove. Now that we're in a different division, playing teams that are more familiar to us from two years ago. Uh, you know, definitely going in with a lot of momentum, thinking that we can win every game we play. So we're definitely, uh, practice is a lot more positive, and we have a lot more things going our way. So we're definitely looking forward to Friday. Hey, um, you, you guys are good two weeks into this. You've been kind of knocking heads a little bit. Uh, tell me about how much you, you guys have got accomplished, and how, how much are you guys ready just to, just, just to get out there and play a game? We have everything uh, in line, ready to go. Uh, main thing from last year is we have a lot of returning guys on the offensive side of the ball that can, uh, you know, we have a lot of the plays installed that we already had last year. Just a few extra things that we need, like indicators and stuff. That, you know, just depending on what week, you know, with the defense that the other team runs. Defensively, I'm not really sure. I mean, I know that they have a lot of stuff installed from last year as well, but I don't play defense, so All right. uh, you'd have to ask someone else. All right. Hey, uh, Mike, you referenced, you referenced the last two years. Tell me, tell me what the... What the Uh, just uh, you know, I know that they haven't gone well, but uh, what's that? What's that been like? What's it been like the last two years? It's just been really difficult. Uh, I have one year where I didn't start. I had another quarterback start in front of me, and as a surveyor on the sideline, it was definitely difficult to watch the momentum drop from beginning to end for every game. And then being out there uh, last year, it was definitely the same feeling. But you're on the field, you have more of the emotion. So uh, we definitely have a lot more more momentum going into this year because. Like I said, we know we can compete in every game. And last year, it's not that we knew we couldn't compete. It was just that we knew that. Definitely excited. We have the school behind us this year. Uh, we're, we're ready to go. Mike, um, uh, how important is winning? How, how difficult is losing? Uh, you know, I, I got the impression sometimes when, when I saw you guys play last year that, you know, you really, you guys were trying, uh, you, you really put it out there, but it, it just, it just didn't happen. Uh, it, it, tell me how, how, how important it is to win and, and, and how discouraging it is to lose. It's certainly important to win, especially for a team who's won one game in the last two years. Right. Um, we didn't get used to losing out of the, the you know, the 19 games, but it, it was definitely left a bitter taste in our mouths. We know how it felt when we beat Donegal, even if it was just by one point. We're definitely looking to get back to that moment because that was unforgettable for our whole team. So yeah. we're looking to get back to that as many times as possible this year. Hey, Mike, what's your, what's your job? What's your, what's your role in this team? Uh, you know, besides a quarterback, I have to be a multitasker and I have to be a leader as well. You know, it's very important that everybody keeps their head up. And, you know, when we're on defense, I'm in charge of doing that, making sure everyone's got a, got a level head and uh, making sure that the defense is excited, the sideline's excited, we have uh, support going everywhere. That's mainly my job on the team. Hey, tell me, tell me um, uh, your grasp of the offense. Uh, it seems like you have, a, you, have, you have a pretty good idea of what you're doing out there from what for now. Since I was a freshman, we've had the same main core coaching staff since I was a freshman. So since day one, when I was in eighth grade, I got the playbook for the first time. And ever since then, it's been basically the same with a few few concepts changed here and there. I have a pretty good grasp on what we're doing, and uh, you know, I feel like I'm confident enough that I can make audibles when necessary based on defensive reads. So uh, I definitely have a lot of confidence with that. We have to make a lot of audibles in college too. Like, uh, uh, as, 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 as far as as far as this group goes and, and, and the strength, what, what do you like about this group? What, what's, what do you see as a strength with, with this group? Uh, mainly, you know, I'll go back to two years ago and last year, uh, leadership. We have a lot of leadership this year. The last two years, I don't think our leadership was, you know, as great as it could have been. Our team wasn't as united as it needed to be. And, you know, the coaches can only do so much. Uh, the guys that are on the lower level got to definitely look up to their seniors and, you know, I was a captain last year and I had the ability to as a senior being the head guy and me and Mitchell and Pang as well. Uh, definitely leading the team. It'll be exciting. We have a lot of unity. That's that's a big thing with us. Hey, tell me about your chemistry with 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 Mitchell. And I know you look to him a lot, and there's a good there's good reason for that. He's he's really good at getting open. But tell me about your relationship with him on the field, and and uh, uh, just how much chemistry you guys have together. Yeah, we have a great amount of chemistry. He does what he does, great, and it definitely helps to have that. Even last year, to have one good player like that, I think he caught like 74 balls last year. So we're definitely looking to do that this year again, and. 
you know, plus we have three other guys in Ethan Harrow, Tyler Gallagher, and Peter Robertson that can do the same thing. Wait, what, do, you, do you have individual goals? What, what, what are your goals? What are your, what are your personal goals for this, for this season? Yeah, I mean, last year, main thing for me was interception numbers. Definitely not where I wanted that to be. You know, as they say in college, you know, a true freshman starts is making those freshman mistakes. I got to make sure that I don't do that again this year. You know, make sure I have the team on my back and eventually do what I need to do to make sure I play at the highest level possible academically and athletically for college. Hey, and then how about goals? How about goals for this team, this 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 group? We, you know, through the coaches and through the seniors as leaders, we expect big things from this team, not just from a, from a leadership and a returning guys aspect, but as a whole team, we have we have a lot of confidence with the division switch and stuff. So. We expect a lot of things. I can't put a number on how many wins we're going to have. You know, That'd be really putting you on the spot. That'd be really putting me on the spot being 1-19. I'm not going to come out here and say <laughs> we're going to win eight games. But, right. you know, we're going to take it week by week. Right, right. Hey, Mike, I'll, 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 one more question. I'll let you go. Tell me tell me about your college plans. Uh, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting from the way you talked that you'd like to play in college. Uh, yeah. uh, just just tell me what you, what you would like to get done uh, as far as the next level goes. You know, at the next level, regardless of where I play, I'd like to study something in, like, biomedical science. Genetics is my number one thing right now, but you know that comes first before the athletics for me. Um, but I want to be at the best place possible as a combination for both. So whether it's Division One AA, the Ivy and Patriot League schools that are looking at me, or Division Three in NESCAC for like Amherst and schools like that, they're all great schools, and I know that I'll be blessed to end up wherever I am. Hey Mike, thanks for taking the time out uh, to talk to us today. Good luck, uh, stay healthy, and uh, just get off to the get off to a good start. Thank you.